Let's talk about the International Standard Atmosphere, or ISA. Now, the International Standard Atmosphere is like the default setting for the Earth's atmosphere. It's a model that gives us a standard values for atmospheric conditions at differing altitudes, which pilots use to ensure everything works properly during flight. ISA assumes at sea level of temperatures of 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure is 1,013.25 hectopascals or 29.92 inches of mercury. The density, if you wanted to know this, is 1.225 kilograms per mass cubed. Nobody ever asked that. Don't worry about it. There's something called the lapse rate. The temperature is decreased by about two degrees per Celsius for every thousand feet you go up. The ISA is important because it helps pilots and engineers predict how the aircraft will perform under different conditions. For example, when you're flying at higher altitudes, the air is thinner, which affects lift and engine performance and more. When you know the ISA conditions, you can compare the actual weather conditions to the standard. If the temperature or pressure is different from the ISA values, you know that it could affect your helicopter's performance. For instance, if the air is warmer than the ISA temperature, it's less dense, which means you might need more power to generate the same amount of lift. In the real world, conditions often differ from the ISA, so pilots need to adjust their expectations and calculations accordingly. The ISA gives a common reference point that makes it easier to manage these variations safely and predictably. Whenever you're planning a flight, keep the ISA in mind as your trusty baseline. It's like having a yardstick that everyone agrees on, making sure that you're on the same page as every other pilot and aircraft in the sky. Be sure to like and subscribe this video. If you want to learn more about helicopters, I have a free course on getting started with helicopters. I also have a course on how to pay for flight school and I also have a course on getting your private helicopter license. I'd love to help you out. Links are all down in the description below.